Stanford University. That's the situation on the internet. When you want to buy something from a new merchant you've never worked with before, there's no prearrangement. And yet the internet's insecure. How do you get your credit card number to that merchant without all the people who are listening in uh, getting your credit card number? Public key cryptography solves that problem for us. What's now called by most people Diffie-Hellman Key Exchange really should be called Diffie-Hellman Merkel Key Exchange. And that's one reason I'm really glad that this award has been given to the three of us. Ralph was working by himself up at Berkeley, uh, Ralph Merkel, and uh, published separately from us. Uh, and so when we had this first implementation that really worked, it was in a paper by Diffie and Hellman. Uh, even though we credited Ralph with his contribution to it, his name did not get associated with it, and he hasn't received the credit he deserves. The three of us recognized that cryptography was going to be very important. We could see computers and communications coming together, and I even remember talking back in the mid-70s, I could envision the day when buying a loaf of bread would involve electronic transfer of funds, and today we in fact sometimes do use a debit card or a credit card to buy a loaf of bread. Um, and the importance that cryptography would have uh, in our lives, because if the banking system depends on just little blips traveling over the internet, and the internet's insecure as it is, then you can see we're terribly exposed. And so encrypting that information is critical to the whole internet economy and really to the economy as a whole. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.